This video is sponsored by Brilliant. I'm so bored. Hello? Noah, what's good? Hey, you busy? No, I'm actually like super bored right now. Perfect. So here's what's going down. I'm gonna flood the earth. Hey, excuse me. So I'm gonna need you to build an ark. A what? It's like a big ass boat. A why? And I'm talking big. I heard you. Like if boats could have a body positivity movement, this would be their supreme leader. I got it. Then when you're done with that, I'm gonna need you to gather two of every animal. Stop. Sorry, am I going too slow? One batshit crazy announcement at a time, please. Okay. Let's start it back at one. Love that song. You're gonna flood the earth? Yeah. Why? Angel bet me 20 bucks I wouldn't. And I was like, God never backs down from a challenge. And that's like free sushi, so... That's all it takes? No, there's more. Like what? People suck. Facts. I mean, can you imagine having the ability to flood the earth and then standing behind someone at self-checkout who's never fucking used self-checkout and not flooding the earth right then and there? Yeah, I kind of agree. For that level of self-control, I should get a medal or a free hooker for the night or something. Okay. Can you stop? <laughs> What's wrong? Just making it rain on these hoes? Not funny. And tell your wife I said sorry about the rain. But anyways, yeah, I gotta kill everyone. But you're my boy. Doesn't feel like it. So yeah, just get that boat finished. Stop again. How do I build a boat? It's real simple. It's basically like Build-A-Bear, but with boats. Also, I'm really not that young anymore, so I don't think I'm gonna have the energy for this. Bro, you're living till 9.50. Wait, really? Cool. So am I gonna age slower so I don't look like super old when I'm, you know, 300? No. What? Yeah, no. So I'm gonna look old as fuck for like over 90% of my life? Hey, for most of your life, you are going to look like a very young goblin. But I've heard Gringotts is fun to work at. Oh my god, okay. Um, anyway, so do I like get these supplies by myself or... Oh, I have a Home Depot coupon you can use. Sweet. And then, yeah, just two of every animal and we're good to go. Stop again. Two of every animal? One dude, one chick, every species. I know you got it. How big does this boat need to be? And how big is this flood gonna be? Okay, you know that fence like right outside your house that you can barely see over? Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna cover Mount Everest. How was that first part relevant? And I'm talking worldwide, like 30,000 feet all the way around. Yeah, that sounds awful. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. Part of my reasoning is because I really just want to see what that's gonna look like. And when you say two of every animal, do you mean like only pet animals or everything like kangaroos and shit are kangaroos an animal yeah well better fucking get two yeah this sounds awful no it's gonna be sick because have you seen jackie chan adventures where they have to go find those magical stone things that have different animals on them that all give them different superpowers oh my god yes okay this is nothing like that. Wow. Yeah, these animals are gonna give you no powers, except the ability to stay old as fuck for a long ass time. Okay, now get to it. Three weeks later. All right, come on, come on. Everybody on the ark. Oh, VIP is up and to the left. Yeah. Missing a few. Shit, really? Mm-hmm, like where are the bison? I got bison. Those are buffalo. Fuck you, same thing. They are not. Different names, different animals. They basically are. Like, why'd you even make both? Cause bison wild wings? Nah, not catchy enough. And I had already made the bison, so. Fine, I'll go get some fucking bison. Two hours later. Okay, think we got them all. Where are the water animals? Fuck you. Hey, sea lives matter. How am I supposed to get every animal from the ocean? I don't know, you got a boat right there. Shut up, shut up now. You know what, no, I'm, d I'm done, I'm done. I'm not getting any more animals. Hey, do you know how famous I'm about to make you? Forever? Like, this is your big break. After this, your life is gonna be like a living porno. Wait, really? For thousands of years, people are gonna be asking the question, hey, was Noah part of Genesis or was it Genesis with all that sweet Stop. Like, if you haven't pre-drilled glory holes in that arc, then I don't think you're grasping the fact that you're about to get more tail than Sonic. Please stop. Noah, help. My arc is stuck in the dryer. Holy crap. Three days later. Done. I got every animal. 
Okay, don't hate me. I fucking hate you. I thought of an idea for one more animal. But then I promise, it's over. I want to die. Which animal is this? I'm calling it the cheetah. And why'd you need to make it? Because I really want to see something. Okay, go get it. Two hours later. Hey, no, no, get back here. Three hours later. <sighs> Got him. You need to get two. Later. Done. It's done. Then once he got those cheetahs and the flood happened, just like I said, Noah became a household name. People were asking for pictures, autographs, he was signing girls' chests, and as you can expect, this started to go to his head. Then he ended up divorcing his wife, and I told him, hey man, this is marriage. This is some sacred shit. If you keep going down this path, you're gonna burn in hell, but he didn't listen. After he saw what was out there, the idea of just being with one woman definitely made him more flaccid than a spaghetti noodle that just got out of the shower. He started to party much more and photographs started coming out of, you know, him doing lines of frankincense and myrrh. But what was interesting was that Noah still didn't want to go against the Bible, against the word of God. So he hired a lawyer and they started finding loopholes in the Bible so Noah could still fulfill his kinky fantasies while not going against the Lord. They thought of different positions and acts that would be allowed so that Noah would, you know, stay pure in the eyes of God while still being able to get that nut off. There was, you know, the soggy nun, the make my kingdom come, the Sodom my Gomorrah, and the lawyer would say, you know, no, she's married, you can't do that, it goes against the Bible. But then Noah would respond, well, one of her best friend's hand is on my dick, and then she jerks her friend's arm, which in turn jerks me off which of course led to Euclid discovering the transitive property. I knew he didn't deserve to be in heaven after all that, but we were friends and technically there is nothing wrong with a married woman jerking off her friend's arm that happens to be on some dude's schlong. So I let him in and I don't know, that's, that's the story. So how did Noah build the ark so quickly and how'd he do it so well? He used Brilliant. See, Brilliant is his educational platform that's home to over 70 courses in math, science, and engineering. What's great about Brilliant is they really focus on interactive exercises, intuitive visuals, and applying what you've learned to the real world, making it a great practical tool for understanding technical topics and the world around you on a fundamental level. You can see a perfect example in their Physics of the Everyday course, one of Noah's favorites, which covers topics from the mathematics and physics found in criminal investigations, all the way to how the sun and moon influence ocean tides. Brilliant allows you to learn at your own pace, and regardless of your education level, you can always find something new to explore. And you can get started right now by going to brilliant.org slash Zachstar himself, or by clicking the link below, and the first 200 people to sign up will get 20% off their annual premium subscription. Okay, we done?